There you go, for the most part it's plucked. This doesn't matter. Natalie's gonna cut this off anyways, I'm not concerned with that. Some of this is easy, she'll peel that off. And then here's the, here's the feet I'm talking about. This will just peel right off. You wanna make sure you're plucking these nails as they come off. And then Natalie, Natalie does the evisceration. So that's kind of our assembly line. That's what works for us. So she'll, she'll kind of show you how she does that. Cut the feet off first. We'll cut the legs here. Legs, legs. I forget what this is called. Some type, type of gland. She'll pluck this, cut the head. We use these guys for the head. I'll let her do it. So we can split. You're gonna have to cut that off. Yeah. All right, and then we have a chill bucket here. So the point of this, there's cold water, well water. We just throw in here. It's it's cold. I mean, it's chilly to the touch. We want the temperature because they're still they're very very warm birds. So we're we're allowing this water to absorb the heat from this before we put it in the ice bath. I'll show you that here in a minute. Here's our wings. So again, and this water's starting to get warm. I'll put some new water in here, and we'll throw this on ice as well. We keep all the goodies. So here's the feet. We keep on the ice. So we're gonna broth that. We keep the hearts and the livers for us, for nutrition, and everything else. Literally everything else we throw in here and we're gonna make a swill. I'll cook it tonight when we're done. And I'm gonna feed this to the pigs. The pigs love it. Here's our ice bath. So all the, we got all the done chickens just chilling in here. We filled this water up last night and let it, it get cold overnight. We froze a bunch of big ice ice balls all week, and then I I got two 20 pound bag of ice, 20 pound pack. Oh my goodness! I have two 20 pound bags of ice that is already obviously melted in there. Look at those turkeys. They always get out. It's all good. It's like one o'clock. One o'clock. We're about done. Uh, we've got a guest appearance from Bakban Mokim. Came out. Say what's up. What's up, everybody? He came out to help. We got Bakban on the uh, the scald and the uh, plucker, and he's also done some leg removal, some wing removal. He's been all over the place. Huge help today. Uh, we're about done. We've got I don't know, maybe ten more, ten more birds. So it, it flew by. Having an extra hand was super, super helpful. Um, it's unbelievable what one extra person can do. So uh, appreciate you guys for checking us out. I'm gonna put you guys back on a time lapse and then we'll bring you back around when we start bagging. Look who made an appearance. Brittany Morgan in the house. So helpful. Bakman Mokim did his, uh, what'd you think, man? You did your first chicken, killed a eviscerate. It was great. It was easy, clean. Like it did good. Good chicken. It did good. Good chicken. Great help. <laughs> Brittany showed up to hang out. Supervise. Supervise, make sure she's our USDA. Yeah, I'm the inspector. We are, we're almost done. We're down. All the kills are done. We've got two more hanging. Natalie's uh, eviscerating one, Bachman's feathering one, plucking one. We've got two hanging and then we are done. It is, I don't even know what time it is. Brittany, what time is it? 1.50, that's amazing. Last year we did 77, just Natalie and I, and I don't think we got done until 3, 3.30 with this part. We did north of 80, I, we lost count. Um, so we're north of 80 and it's, what'd you say, 1.30? One, oh, it's two. So we shaved about an hour and a half with Bachmann's help.
All right, it is, it's three o'clock. We're getting a little, st started a little later. Bachman and Brittany were out. They helped a ton. Bachman helped a ton. He was out here, Brittany, Brittany had some things. Um, but she, she showed up and helped us clean up, which is huge, tremendous help as well. Um, but that, I bet they shaved an hour and a half off of, of, of a normal day. So um, we're gonna start bagging. Uh, we'll, uh, so a couple things. We want 195 to 205 on the water. We're about two, little north of 200 right now. Um, so I'll show you a few uh, as we get going and then I'll, I'll throw you guys on a time lapse. So this is a newer company. You could put this straw in. And then you zip tie. Then once it goes in that hot water, it'll shrink to the chicken. We're at 200, we're perfect. 195 is really where you want to shoot. So I'll just dump this in here. It shrinks to it and all the air is coming out. Look at that. Pull that zip tie and then you're good to go. There you go. Nice shrunk wrap chicken. That was perfect. All right, so it was a long day. Kids are in bed. It's a little after seven, and uh, here's here's what we've got. Here's what we've got. So that is eighty. I, I lost count. It's either eighty-six or eighty-seven. <laughs> eighty-six or eighty-seven chickens in the cooler. We've also got. We ended up doing chicken wings. So we, uh, we like our chicken wings, so we ended up doing bags of chicken wings. We've got livers. We've got livers and chicken feet and hearts as well. So it was a good day. Um, yeah, don't mind the, the beer and there's our milk and the eggs. This, is, this cooler is... Uh, and of course the Costco pizza. We hooked up some Costco pizza for uh, for today. We did t Costco pizza because we knew today was gonna be a long day. So we ended up buying a couple pizzas and that's what we fed the kids tonight. So there you go. We did it, 86, 87 ch chickens. I, I lost count. When I throw them in the freezer, I'll, I'll try to, I will try to recount. So again, appreciate you guys. We'll uh, catch you next time.